नमस्ते एवरी वन आई एम बीन प्रसाद अवाड़ी और स्टूडेंट ऑफ एम फिल सेकेंड सेमिस्टर एट नेपाल ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे आई एम टू आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन राइटिंग रिसर्च प्रपोजल एंड थेसिस स्पेशली दिस प्रेजेंटेशन विल बी यूजफुल फॉर द students of master's level uh, and even for the students of junior level who want to carry out research especially in the field of english language teaching elt uh, first of all uh, let me present the session overview in this session uh, i'll be talking about the basic concept of research then things to be known before carrying out research what are the areas of research especially for the students of english language what are the phases of research and some other tidbits uh, first of all uh, let's know about the uh meaning of the research itself the concept of research itself the word research has been derived from the french word research say research say which simply means to search or seek with care there are two syllables here one re next one is search so re simply means again and new and over again and search means here to examine something very closely and carefully or to test or try to prove or search so combining both concepts you can say that research is a careful systematic patient study and investigation in some field of knowledge undertaken to establish facts and principles this is said by grinnell 1993 so research simply means search again to find out something which is new or uh, to know more about a phenomenon it can be understood as a journey from unknown to known or movement from unknown to known it can be taken as a voyage of discovery research is carried out either for testing theory or building a theory if it is quantitative research it is for testing theory and in qualitative research the researcher aims to build a theory at the end research process is contribution to the existing stock of knowledge or we can say it is an addition to new knowledge to the existing body of knowledge the researcher attempts to bridge the gap between what has been already known and what is yet to be known so it is an attempt to bridge the knowledge gap similarly research is an original contribution to the existing stock of knowledge it is an art of scientific investigation it is a structured inquiry that utilizes acceptable scientific methodology to solve problems and create new knowledge that is systematically applicable research is an intellectual activity scholarly activity and creative activity it can also be understood as a symbol of development the researcher explores the nature different phenomena and comes to certain understanding certain findings about those phenomena and on the basis of that we can develop our society our culture our existing situation so in this sense we can say it is a symbol of development research is objective empirical and logical analysis of an event or phenomena it is a source for knowledge through objective 
and systematic method of finding solution to a problem. Research process, research project is not carried out haphazardly. It is a systematic process and it is an organized effort to inquire about a specific question that needs an answer. So in every research, the researcher has a problem and he or she attempts to find solution to that problem or he has a question, he or she attempts to find answer to that question. The research process involves a series of well thought activities of gathering information, recording it, analyzing and interpreting data and presenting the finding. So it is an investigation for discovering, interpreting and developing methods and systems for the advancement in human knowledge, for the advancements, advancement in existing situation, existing condition. So summarizing all these things, we can say that research is a source of what is already searched. The researcher has right to raise question on those things, on those findings which have already been made if they are questionable. It is also the source of what is unsourced, what is ever unsourced. It is the study of what is not studied. Researcher should attempt to answer what is still unanswered. And the research process should solve what is still unsolved. Research should discover what is not discovered yet. Research should know what is said to be unknown. Similarly, research should question what is believed not to be questioned. So researchers have that right to question what is believed to be not to be questioned. A researcher does not take anything for granted. A researcher should falsify what is said to said the established truth. If the so-called established truth is full of doubt, full of suspicion, the researcher has to observe it very critically and he or she can falsify this, but evidences are necessary, proofs are necessary to falsify it. To justify or to falsify anything, evidences, proofs are essential and this researcher does this. Research, research should prove something true, what may be said untrue. So this is the idea I got from Subetsu and Yunghan 2011. So in a single sentence you can say that research is an exploration to find out the solution to a problem or answer to a question. Qualitatively, quantitatively or in integrative manner. And every research is carried out by following three general steps. The researcher has a question first. He or she should pose a question. He or she should go to the field to collect data to find solution to that question or solution to that problem or answer that question. He or she should present an answer to that question after collecting the data. These are three general steps to be taken into consideration. And uh, what is the common procedure of research? Every voyage of discovery begins with a topic. The first, of all, first of all, the researcher has to select a topic or area of interest. Then he or she has to identify the research problem, which may be an issue or the gap gap of knowledge. Research problem is the gap between the existing situation and expected situation. Gap between what has been already explored and what is yet to be explored. And after identifying the problem, 
the researcher has to conduct literature review or literature research uh, it may be theoretical research empirical research thematic research and the main purpose of carrying out literature review is to find out the knowledge gap then the researcher has to design the research questions conceptual framework then he or she has to determine the methods it may be qualitative quantitative or integrative or mixed then here she has to determine the research design whether it is based on qualitative qualitative paradigm or quantitative paradigm then the research procedure under this the participants tools should be specified the collected data should be analyzed and interpreted statistically or descriptively generally in quantitative research we analyze and interpret data statistically or quantitatively whereas in qualitative research we present the data we analyze and interpret data or the information descriptively these are the general uh, procedures of research now uh, there are certain things to be known by the researcher while carrying before carrying out the research the areas of research should be specified research problem should be identified certain gap or the issue should be identified here she should be clear about the research approaches which may be qualitative quantitative or mixed and how the data will be collected what are the sources of data what sampling procedure will be followed whether it is random sampling non random sampling or the mixed one and that should be specified and how data will be analyzed and interpreted that should be specified similarly the ethical considerations should be specified and they should be duly followed and certain technical aspects such as grammar citation mechanics and how to avoid plagiarism how to have responsible conduct of research these th things should be prepared in advance by a researcher and uh, a researcher can follow qualitative paradigm or quantitative paradigm uh, even mixed paradigm while carrying out research there are some differences between this quantitative and qualitative uh, briefly let me uh, present this uh, quantitative research is based on quantification of the information or data whereas qualitative research is based on interpretation qualitative research is intended to explore the construction of knowledge how the informants how the individuals make the multiple construction of knowledge so our concern is to explore the subjectivity of phenomena whereas in quantitative research our concern is to explore the objectivity of a phenomena objectivity of reality quantitative research is based on single objective world whereas qualitative research is based on multiple subjective world in quantitative research uh, we don't have any concern with the relationship with the study variables no relationship with study variables this is the relationship of the researcher we have to be clear here but in qualitative research the researcher has interactive relationship with the study variables quantitative research is value free whereas qualitative research is value laden quantitative research is more structured it is more impersonal and rule based whereas qualitative research is informal personalized and context based so deduct deductive approach is followed in quantitative research whereas inductive approach is followed in qualitative research quantitative research is context free the generalization generalization is the main focus of uh, quantitative research it means the finding will be generalized the finding from the sample will be generalized uh, to the entire population but in but in qualitative research generalization is not done rather contextualization is done similarly qualitative research is based on set models and procedures 
but qualitative research is based on flexible model or procedures uh, it is also called emergent type of research design now what are the areas of research for the students of english language the students of english language the researchers of english language can carry out research in in the field of elt translation studies uh, discourse analysis critical discourse analysis learning strategies adopted by the learners of different levels uh, there may be comparative studies between different languages contrastive analysis and error analysis second language acquisition language testing uh, teacher uh, training programs and their effectiveness uh, they can also carry out research on language policies bilingualism multilingualism and so on so they can carry out research uh, within these within these uh, areas now uh, what are the stages of exploration what are the stages of research so here i have presented five stages stage 1 is pre research phase stage 2 is proposal phase here the draft of proposal is designed then the researcher goes to the field to collect data that is third stage then writing stage writing report that is called uh, uh, thesis writing phase and at last submitting the report attending viva which uh, this is the last stage or the fifth stage now uh, in detail stage one so here simply the researcher uh, explore i mean observes the phenomenon here see sources for problem knowledge gap research gap uh, to explore to breeze uh, here the researcher has to read books references previous research works uh, in order to crystallize his or her idea so the researcher has to be clear about the research problem research question in this phase uh, this is the stage one which is also called pre-research phase the second one is proposal phase after being clear about research problem research gap issue the researcher has to draft a proposal proposal is simply a plan for carrying out research the researchers in this stage will write a proposal on their research topic under the close supervision of the supervisor if a proposal is academically rich and procedurally well built we can say 50 percent work is done so completing proposal is like the completion similar to the completion of is at the completion of 50 percent tax almost half done a uh, research proposal is a roadmap that outlines the details of how the research will be undertaken will be carried out it's the roadmap it's the blueprint of the whole resource venture research journey the proposal should be written according to the format provided by the department the third stage is research phase itself. In this phase, the researcher goes to the field and collects data. And how data will be collected? What tools will be taken uh, by the researcher? What sort of tools will be used? It depends on the paradigm of research, whether the research is based on positivist paradigm or interpretivist paradigm, or let's say quantitative paradigm or qualitative paradigm. Generally, in quantitative research, the researcher goes to the field with a uh, questionnaire, observation checklist, test items, uh, and so on. Uh, close ended type of questions are designed here. A structured interview will be taken, but in qualitative research, in depth interview, narrative inquiry, uh, these these tools are mostly used so the researcher has to be clear whether uh, his or our research is qualitative quantitative or mixed in mixed research both types of tools may be used by the researcher uh, collecting rich data is very crucial in research 
until the saturation point the researcher has to collect data and multiple tools can also be used and uh, especially in the case of qualitative research the process is reiterated until the researcher reaches the saturation point now this should be uh, taken into consideration the, now stage 4 is uh, thesis writing phase or writing the report so now the researcher has already collected the data or the information uh, his or her job is to be organize the data in systematic manner analyzing and interpreting that the data should be read and reread so that the researcher could make a clear mind map for the discussion looking at patterns in the data themes and sub themes should be generated the data and the discussion should be substantial with appropriate uh, tables figures charts etc again uh, if it is qualitative uh, uh, research according to the uh, research paradigm the researcher has followed the research the research the data should be presented analyzed and interpreted the data and the discussion should be substantiated with appropriate tables figures and charts uh, this is the thing to be done in uh, stage 4 now after this stage 5 is post research phase so this is the stage in which the students or the researchers will present their thesis findings to the panel of experts the research report is completed the final version of the thesis is ready and it is submitted to the department through the supervisor and the department will assign an external examiner to access the research work now after the evaluation the department will conduct a viva voce in which the student or the researcher will have to present the summary of the thesis this is done in post research phase the experts panel will provide comments and feedback and according to the feedback and comments the researcher has to correct it edit it and prepare the final copy of the research report and that final copy has to be submitted to the department by incorporating all the comments and feedback now at last uh, i want to give some useful tips for the research aspirants so carrying out research is a serious task so the researcher has to be a serious reader and writer he or she has to study deeply rigorousness is necessary exhaustive study thorough study about the subject matter area of concern research issue uh, that is necessary the researcher has to be a real researcher here she has to go through the course of the research methodology thoroughly first the thorough idea of the fundamentals of research uh, should be there in okay for carrying out the research review the researcher has to review enough literature and previous resources and the ethical considers con ethical consideration should be made here she has to practice responsible conduct of research rcr ethical norms and standards should be followed as much as possible the linguistic and typological errors should be avoided the researcher should learn about the reference and citation specified documentation style reference and citation style should be followed and the researcher has to come into contact the researcher has to consult the supervisor regularly so these are some of the tips for the research aspirants by following these ideas and guidelines the researchers research aspirants can make their research more systematic more convenient and more goal oriented 
that's all for today please don't feel any hesitation to put comments on this presentation and put your comments feedbacks in the comment box of my youtube channel thank you very much